So this is the build that we have currently. 50 toughness, 39 endurance. Pain is nothing goes like this. We have what doesn't kill you, stun double, but honestly, really good perks. They're like meta perks, and they, they work so well together in conjunction. We also have this perk right here, which is the 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 lonely sheep, you know? It's like a perk that you don't pick. It has a 0.01% chance of being picked. And the reason why is because of what it does. After consuming a health item, you don't bleed out for 10 seconds. And we're trying to find some inherent value here with this perk in the gameplay today. So this will be quite fun indeed. If you want to copy this skill tree for whatever sake, you have it right here. Enjoy it, as hopefully we will enjoy it in this gameplay right now. And it might only be one match for this build because it's going to take forever. We have to be the last victim to see the inherent value behind this perk. There's some nuanced mechanics to it. Say if you get hit by a Venom Trap or bleed functionality in the game through Serrated, you should actually be able to heal, uh, not lose any HP in those interactions. Theory-wise, that's what it should be. Uh, have I noticed it? Not really, because you have to heal before utilizing it. And maybe a little theory is when you get the better value out of the item or the perk, which always happens with every perk in the game. Level three is always better. That might be the same thing here. What is he doing? What? Oh. That works too. At level three, it goes for 30 seconds. At that point there, activating a pot early and be able to rotate through the map could actually be really good. And it could also hide your blood trail. I've seen so. Because you're not bleeding out, you should have no blood trail. Technically. Things that we still have to test out, in theory, but they seem pretty fun as mechanics. So right now, what should we do is actually open some doors up. Create some possibilities for our team. So yeah, those are the functionalities of this perk in action. Let's see how we can do in our own gameplay today. Why do you go left? We're versing a three-man party too. So it should be a party here, that's for sure. He's already on me. Did you reset the lock? That's funny. Why do they realize? He knows. How does he know? Did he check his trap? I'm running to the other corner and hoping that the toolbox spawns there. Fingers crossed. Let's see. It didn't spawn here. That's really like this one here is like kind of goaded. There's two of them here. They won't ever see me here. I'm like pure darkness. 
It was safe. Yeah, look, you can't see anything. It looks so dark. Just when you run around the corner, you can't see it. It looks more obvious when I see it myself, but it's not too bad. Oh, did you come back? You came back for the blood bucket? I have no idea. Fresh valve is nearly open too. I ain't trying to escape. I'm trying to showcase the value of the perk. I'm trying to create other obstacles for us to escape after, though. All opportunities for us to escape. Obstacles for the enemy team, though. Oh, we're well, last victim. Now get value. Wow, value. I know, right? So important. Oh my god, he just appeared. He just appeared. He just appeared. He broke the lights door. this one with me just in case so right now we're bleeding out but I don't use this large HP pot there's no small ones that's devastating let me find a small one so technically you see the bleed out it's subtle but it happens the whole time as your last victim so if you get this perk here or this little small bottle here if I heal myself back up I shouldn't bleed for the next 10 seconds. At level 3, that's 30 seconds. And you can see the duration on the bottom right corner of the ability being active. And that's very useful in certain scenarios, which we mentioned earlier. For those uh, uh, for those to actually happen at level 1, is kind of like impossible. But at level 3, with 30 seconds to play with, it can be very possible. It can actually work out really nicely too. Yeah, that was, in theory, should count a Hitchhiker's Venom Traps. In theory. You know I'm got here. You know I'm absolutely got here with the tech. Absolutely got here. Thank you, God. I think I lost. <laughs> oh God. He's over the door swing and everything. Love it. Absolutely love it. So right now I'm bleeding, but the bleeding is not that much and I kind of can su survive this with no issue this moment right now 
And some of my ability active too, which helps with any damage output being placed onto my character. So I'm pretty much safe here. This is not a small bottle here. So I'm bleeding. Let's use it. Now the next 10 seconds, I don't bleed out to anything. Or well, don't take it out. Uh, don't have any bleed function uh, functionality towards my character. Really nice. Technically, I can make this match last like 45 minutes. Easily. Like, easily, easily. If I wanted to. Do I want to? No, you just need uh, one perk. You don't need any other perk. You just need that bottom right perk that I have. That I'm using on the bottom right. That's You only need one of them. You don't need anything else to stack with it. And you're pretty much good. Grab his level 3. One guy rotates really quickly. I don't know how he does, though. He rotates hella quick. Why are you and this guy always camps here like he knows. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, he's tripping balls. Look at him. He's tripping balls. He's tripping. Wait, does he know? He's tripping out. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so ha happy that I have that perk with me. It really does help out drastically. It's crazy. Well, that dog can't use anymore. My teammates are dead here. That's a really weird position to go to. Is he calling out? He's calling out to his boys, isn't he? <laughs> oh god. Oh, luckily I have this perk. I'm bleeding already. Let me heal up. And now I don't take any bleed damage at all. <laughs> I tried it. I tried it. Time for me to fall. Ah, oh, I lost a bit of HP there. Turn double. Save my life. Save my life. Fix the bleed out. Look, I'm not bleeding at all. I'm not bleeding at all. How busted. Oh my god, this is so busted. I love this perk. Up again. Look, I'm broken. I'm absolutely broken. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so useful. Look at me, I'm all bleeding out. No serrated. Oh, it doesn't work. Serrate doesn't work. I'm so broken right now. Oh my god, look. I'm so broken. Unbelievable. GG's, GG's. <laughs> oh god, that's insanely good. That is absolutely busted.
Very, very busted. GG's, GG's. And that is why I use this perk. I wonder, was it permanently activated? No way. Bullshit. Wait, I didn't even finish the heal and I used it. Wait a minute, did I find new tech? <laughs> Best perk in the game, there you go, 2.5k. That's insane. I'm gonna double check the lot of that playthrough and see what happened. But it looks like what ends up happening from the mates observing the content live on stream as the stream takes the Chainsaw Massacre, uh, they've noticed that the perk actually bugged out and became permanent. If that's the case, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm gonna double check into that. I'm gonna double check into that. That might be a very good perk now. Because <laughs> it's bugged in a better way, not in a bad way. Okay, it's useful, not useless. Very nice. That was a lot of fun on that build. Tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below about that build. If you made our new channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lordia Game Subs for 10% off, and also btlmerch.com. Just for greatly appreciated. Yeah, we got a crazy amount of value out of this perk, surprisingly. And if we bugged out, like the mates are saying, it could be really, really good. I'm going to double check the replay right now.